Welcome to Discovering Marketing Information. I'm your business librarian, Susan, and I'll be taking you through this session today. Today, we're going to look at finding the following market information. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to access the library online. So you log into USD Connect using your USD Connect username and password, and then you click on the library tab here. Scroll down on the online tools page and you'll see our access points for information. OneSearch, which is a bit like Google, allows you to do quick searching and you can find ebooks, printed books and theses and a lot more. The catalog focuses on our print collections and e-journals allows you to look for a specific article in a specific journal. I'd recommend the databases for in-depth searching when you need to look for information on a topic for your assignment or for research. Let's look for information on soft drinks. So I'm going to have a look at the database Passport now to find market information on soft drinks. So I'm going to click on Databases to find the database Passport. Type in Passport and click on Search. Click on the title of the database and click on it again to access it. So with Passport, you can look for uh, industry information here. It also has economy information on things like sustainability as a topic. Uh, you can also look at consumer groups as well. And you can also look up companies as well in this database. So I'm going to focus in on the industries and I'm going to go into soft drinks here. Now you'll see if I scroll down, you can see there's a range of different options here for you. You can look at the forecast dashboard and statistics. You can look at analysis briefings and view all of the briefings here or look at the forecast model. I'm actually going to go into country reports here. So I'm going to select my category. Now I could opt for soft drinks or I could narrow it down a little bit further. I'm going to keep it at soft drinks. And then I'm going to select the geography. So I want to look at soft drinks for a particular country. So I'm going to select the US. And you just go down, you can see all the different options there. So there's USA. And click on go. And what this does is it brings up the report and you can uh, download or see related reports here. You can um, scroll down and read the report or you can click into the data graphics, which I'm going to do here. And with the data graphics, uh, you can um, export the images of the data graphics that you want to or view related statistics or view it in a table view. I'm going to look at the statistics behind this report. And what this does is it give you, gives you a table um, for the US and soft drinks. And you can see the statistics across the years here. You can download this. Uh, you can save it uh, to your content. You can print it out. Uh, you can create a link to this. And you can also modify your search here by changing the statistic type. So if you want company shares, brand shares, distribution, you can select those and change it around. Um, so I'll just pick company shares there. And you can uh, change the data types here as well if you want to. Uh, so I can look at total volume and apply. And you can also uh, change the date range if you want to there as well. So it's a lovely little um, database to have a look at. Um, and I'd recommend um, Passport for that. So I'm going to do a search now in the database Business Source Complete. 
uh, for soft drinks and millennials. So I'll start off by looking for the database Business Source Complete. And this is a large business database that I'd recommend searching for most of your business um, topics um, for each assignment. So I'm going to click on to Business Source Complete to access it. And this will bring you into the database and you can use the fields here to do your searching. So I'm going to search for soft drinks. And to get the different endings of the word, so drink singular and drink plural, I'm going to um, put in the asterisk there, which is a symbol for truncation. And I'm going to narrow down my search to looking for that within the title field and combine that then with um, millennials. Uh, and I'm going to search for that within all text, not to be too prescriptive, but you could select abstract there if you want to. So I'm going to click on search. And this will bring up my result list and I can narrow down to full text. I could select um, scholarly peer review journal articles if I wanted to. Um, and you can scroll down and see other filters on the left hand side there like a date filter. Um, and uh, you could choose trade publications or magazines. Um, I'm interested in this one here so I'm going to click onto the PDF to view it. And then once you um, have the article in front of you, you can have a read of it or you can use the options here on the right hand side. So um, the permalink, um, you can export it, uh, you can cite it, um, save it to your folder, um, email it or print it depending on the publisher or save it to your Google Drive. And that is basically business source complete looking for an article. So I'm going to do a search now in the database Market Line Advantage uh, for information on a company and also industry profiles. And to access this database, I type in the name of it, Market Line Advantage, and click on search. And then I click on the title to access the database. So you'll see this database covers different sectors. Um, you also have um, different elements in here. You can get country and city reports, industry reports as well, and country statistics. Um, and you can also get analysis too. I'm going to look at companies. And you can uh, do a search for the company you're looking for here on the left hand side. And it will prompt you with um, different options. So I'm going to uh, select Coca-Cola there and click on search. And it will give you the different subsidiaries as well as the parent company. And you can create alerts on the right hand side as well and save the search. So I'm going to click on the company name there for the parent company. And you'll see it brings up the key stats for the company. Uh, and I can see um, the profile here on the left hand side. And I can click into maybe the overview or the business segments. Let's click on the overview. And you can scroll down and read that report. You can also export elements um, to PDF or onto Word. And you can lo also look at the financials here. So if you scroll down, you can see the financial statements, financial ratios and key financial charts as well. By clicking on the peers element here on the left hand side, you can see peer competitors within that sector and the research reports here, if I click on that, will give me reports on this sector. Um, so I could look at carbonated soft drinks, for example, in India, or I could click into the global carbonated soft drinks here. I'm gonna have a look at that. And again, you can click into the different sections of this report. So market overview, market data, and again, export those sections out as well. So as I said, Market Land Advantage is a great little database for looking at that marketing um, industry profiles and also uh, your company information. There are other kinds of information in Market Line Advantage that might be useful to you as well. So I'm just going to do a search here for Millennials. And
and look within theme reports here and click on search and you can see there's a report there on millennial consumers and you can view the full table of contents or scroll down and read through that report. The other nice feature of this database is the influencers element. So I could look at influencers for uh, beverages. And this will t show me the top 100 influencers in terms of social media in this area, but it'll also show me trend analytics in terms of keyword mentions in social media over different quarters. So that's quite a nice little feature. And none of the other databases would have this. So you can see it in graphical form there. And I can see the keywords and how they've changed over time in different quarters. So again, another nice little feature um, of uh, market line advantage that you might find useful. Let's look for information on snacking. So I'm going to look at another market database now called Mintel. I'm going to click on databases and type in the title of the database Mintel and click on search. There's a description of the database underneath and what it covers, and you can click on the title Mintel to access the database. So this is Mintel here, and it gives you a range of different reports. You can see um, information by category, by region, so I could look at information in Europe. You can look at trend drivers, um, or you can um, click into information on specific cohorts such as millennials. They also have a new section here on COVID-19. If you're interested in um, a particular report on a specific area or a specific topic, um, you can use the field here to look for that. So I'm going to look for snacking information. And you can see it comes up with suggested titles of different reports. Um, but if I click on the search for snacking here, it brings up the range of reports in pains. So I can see there's um, consumer snacking in the UK report here um, and a recent report um, for consumer snacking habits in Ireland. But I'm interested in the kids snacking one over here. So when you click on the report, you can uh, jump into a particular section. So I'm going to click into the overview. and you can uh, go to the next page if you want to or uh, you can click on the content map and click into another section of the report so i could click into market drivers and you can scroll down and have a look at the information there and you can toggle between the different pages and this little um, icon here, My Presentations, allows you to add um, that element into a presentation you're working on if that's of interest to you as well. Um, and that is Mintel and how to find a report. I'm going to do a quick search now in OneSearch for articles on snacking patterns to see what I can find. So I'm going to click on OneSearch. And I'm going to type in snacking patterns and click on search and I'm going to narrow my search to full text articles. Now I've got a lot of results there so I could maybe narrow it down a little bit further by saying children and you can see here I've narrowed down the results and I might look down and see if there's one that I'm interested in. So let's click on this one here. You can see the number of citations it's received here under Scopus, uh, which is a good indicator that it's a good article as well. And I'm going to click on the full text to access it. And this is our article here, and you can scroll down and have a read of it. Or you can look at the abstract details there. 
and you have your usual elements up here so you could download you can um, cite or email or print just have a look at the site element you can select Harvard here always be consistent and then you can copy and paste that into the bibliography for your assignment and that's how to find an article on a topic in OneSearch. I hope you found this session useful. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions, get in touch with us at the library.